Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes update. So today's update, we're going to discuss part two of season five's um, update, and part two has two parts as well. So let's skip the pleasantries for this update and um, let's go ahead to the meat of this one. So there's a new story. Um, they're going to craft a new story basically for Zeon. Noah is going to North One Frosty and. So the, all the changes, some of the stories will change uh, based on the changes. That's it. Just to keep it simple. A new region will be opened, which is Marinos Island. So this is uh, going to be updated, uh, located in the southwest of St. West. Founded by Marine Hawk among the Knights of Dragons. So this is just your standard um, uh, new region that is going to be up. New Path of Trials also going to be up. So no no surprise in that one. So Golden Wave Path. Okay, next is going to be one that has been circulating around. So New Mythic Hero and Mythic Challenge Mission. So just to, just to keep it short, um, the way that we're going to acquire Mythic Hero Rude is... Basically going to be the same as uh, Misty. So still bad news for me. I don't have Misty yet. But again, it's the same. It's a mythical recruitment ticket. Then you earn mythic mileage and step up rewards for every 11 recruits. Mythic challenge mission is a limited mission. It's a li limited time event. Okay, again, for this uh, recruitment, it's not advised that you buy um, the Mythic Recruitment Ticket because um, these guys will be available in your regular recruitment anyway after the event. So this is the same. So uh, the difference is just uh, we know how to more or less um, get this and maximize the event. So Ru um, Mythic Hero Rude will be out soon together with the update. Okay. Artifact. So this is where the fun starts. So there will be a new equipment called Artifact. So the wearable item is granting abilities depending on your hero's um, uh, type. See, wearing conditions according to hero's position type, unique passive effect is going is given along with the wearer's attack power, defense, and health increase. Okay, so again, this will be very... <laughs> they are actually trying to change the existing equipment, then they're adding the artifact. So, um, I'm not sure how, did, how this is going to play along with the changes with the current equipment and the artifact, but... Again, this is uh, this is actually another way of um, you know um, adding additional buffs or stats to your different uh, uh, stats like attack power, defense, health, and health increase, and um, it can be there is actually a summon for this one, artifact summon, and your your yorms exchange, yorms exchange. Um, again, another gotcha. Um, not sure what the currency for this is. So artifacts can be acquired through chance up recruit. Chance up recruit can consume Jess. <laughs> it's Jess. Consume Zest to summon random. So it's Zest for again this. Oh my god, it's Zest. I, I hope they could have had a different currency for this one, but again, they're forcing it in Zest. So I I don't know about this. I think this is a must-have, especially for those who are going for PvP. But again, it goes back to Zest, wherein Zest is more valuable for, for recruitment. And they add this again, so I'm not sure at this point. But again, I'm sure they're going to make it um, a must summon eventually if you want to stack up your team in terms of stats. Okay, so next is going to be your Nation Premium Recruitment. I'm not sure what the difference of this between our nation recruitment. They just added premium to this one. So I, from my understanding, it's still the same because you still get um, heroes of that nation. So I don't know why they're changing it this time. 
to a different you know different category which is nation premium recruitment but uh allows you to recruit three heroes with fate core for each country okay okay this i'll have to see so this is actually well for for the nation recruitment we do get fate cores right I think, yes, we do. We do get Fate Course with that. And this also acquire, can acquire three heroes with Fate Core for each country. Well, I say it's the same, but they say otherwise. So anyway, let's move on. Gold and Black, Fate Core Choice Recruitment up. This, I think, is okay. Because you can recruit um, in a different tier like Gold, Blue, and Black. So obviously people will be going for gold and blue because they're harder to find and most of us usually use blue or gold. So this one I think is good, is a good addition, um, especially for those new and who are actually going to go for more gold and more blue to complete their roster. So I think this is going to be a good change. I think so. Chance up recruitment for core mileage improvement. Okay, so I've read this in advance and it just says, Accordingly, we have adjusted the acquisition difficulty of the same hero and fate core for growth. The limit on the number of core mileage in a chance up recruitment will, will be removed. So the limit is what? Uh, let's say 28 or 19 so they will remove that and this will increase the chance of acquiring the same hero or fate core we'll see so what is what's the what are the conditions so i've actually read both of these they seem they seem the same so when a certain number is accumulated so it's the same so your your fate core mileage is you accumulate to a certain number right the target is acquired after the results screen and the core mileage is initialized. So this I'm reserving judgment. I'm actually waiting for this, for the changes for this on how this is going to play out. This is pretty much very confusing to me. String of creation re countless initialization and magic rubber fusion update. What's a magic fusion rubber? Magic rubber fusion update. Uh, hero ranks. Okay, uh, um, okay, let's just skip this. This is regarding the screen of creation, count list initialization. They're, I think I'm and they're, they're just gonna put this, trim this down here. So we that. I don't know, magic rubber sounds different. <laughs> New equipment system. So in the part one, Drake, there's no inform about all the overall contents of season five equipment system, recognition, refund. So all equipment acquisitions using Jess. <laughs> Again, it's Jess. Who is Jess? Okay. <laughs> New equipment can be crafted in the airship forge using materials obtained from various contents. Okay. The main source of crafting are plan plan for the holy dragon and the dungeons and the real information okay i know there's a new equipment system and uh, the old equipment can be dismantled you know to be used for the new equipment components of the new equipment so the new equipment will have this set of buffs so new equipment is divided into part sets grades equipment grades a new part of the new equipment consists of weapons helmet armor accessories gloves boots same as the existing equipment the new set pack of the new will have 10 types okay so the so basically your your glove helmet um will be part of a certain set i think combining um if you combine if you have all the equipment within a certain set you, you get increased attack it's like that i think so you have to search for um equipment of the same set basically you for you to get uh these bonuses and the attack bonus is actually very big at 45 percent so 
this is really classic uh your classic uh gotcha um we'll see we'll see I'll, I, i'm i'm gonna reserve my judgment on this one and see if this is really worth change from the current um the current uh system that we had unlike existing equipment new equipment cannot be upgraded so the rate uh, the, the rating is fixed in the, on the time of acquisition well that's good because again um equipment should not be twisted and turned and awakened and it's kind of weird so this is this is kind of good but i think this is going to be very basic which the community doesn't really want kind of you know I, they should have met in the middle for this one for the new equipment so there's a rarity as well so common magic rare legendary fated for each of the sets so i believe that um stats would be different as you go up in terms of rating Uh, sub options um new equipment main option sub according to configuration weapon attack okay okay i'll just wait for this to be out um we'll see the actual one for this one so new equipment crafting materials okay so additional bonuses as well production of new equipment the production of new equipment is carried out by selecting the desired equipment set part. Uh, at this time, required materials are determined according to the selected equipment set and grade. Okay. Anyway, it's going to be a new equipment. Going to have new mechanics. And the old ones we can dismantle and use for the new equipment set. Combine of new equipment. Combine it in the airship forge. Enhancement of new equipment. Option enhancement. Okay. Sub option is added or increased according to equipment grade whenever a certain enhancement value is achieved. Okay. Basic, basic stuff. Enhanced options for new equipment. Again, basic stuff. New Holy Dragon Ground Improvement. Okay. We are going to stay here. Holy Dragon holy dragon of grounds holy, holy dragon of grounds has been reorganized into content that allows you to acquire new equipment okay so you can acquire equipment here dragon relics depending on the damage to the dragon okay so basically the faces for the dragon is going to be changed as well uh fire nature frost she was a gimmick social information again with the dungeon Five difficulty levels as well. Entry, entry current has been changed to non-vacant, allowing unlimited progress per day. And the continuous battle formation has been added. All tickets to the whole Dragon Ground tickets will be refunded as Levy Stone. Okay. This is, I think, a good change at this point because I've been itching for a new dungeon and this will suffice for now. Content opening conditions have been significantly lowered to allow for more speedy play and growth at the start of the adventure. Combined Daily Dungeon. The Daily Dungeon was the basic growth support of XOC. You can grow here, acquire equipment and gold. Uh, the role of the Daily Dungeons is maintained in Season 5 as shown below. We want to integrate Day of the Week Dungeons for each feature of the content. Sanctum before after unity, unity sanctum. So this is just going to be merged, I think. And the feature is still the same. All the number of dungeons for each day of the week will reduce the number of entry good from seven to three. Nice. Because you know it's it's repetitive and it's a lot. So if they're going to reduce it to three, better and expect reward level to be maintained even after the integration. Okay, so this is just an integration of the dungeon to fewer um, dungeons basically. So one, two, three. Season five growth guide. So again, Frisha. This is Frisha when the spirit pressed. Silver Fate Corficia is going to be arriving, and uh, we're going to get Red Fate Core Dorka. 
So, oh my god, I've been waiting for the gold faker for ages, and I'm sure you are all waiting for the gold fate or fate cordorka. This is just something that uh, will just whet our, our our appetite for uh, while we wait for the real gold fate cordorka. So again, I'm I'm also excited for this one. So. Kind of inching my way back into, you know, the excitement for Exo's Heroes. Airship theme. Um, so there will be new airship themes, new backgrounds, gyro functions. Uh -huh. Visuals. Okay. Uh, gyro, gyro sensor. Convenience improvements. Manage here. Journal. Core memory. Open. Condition change. Oh my god, this is messy. Or raid, change difficulty selector function, challenge daily missions due to content registration. Yeah, I believe so. Account overlap linkage. Okay, so this is actually just the end of part one. So, okay, part two, season five, update two. This is basically your um, the question and answer portion based on the frequently asked questions that they were given for the for the part one so this i will go over slightly change of the nation hero belongs to near here belongs so this the highlight of this one is um, zeon because there are a lot of you know uh, pvp players who already have zeon in their top pvp team and you know of course they will really complain because um, Zeon is one of the carries in Linombe. And uh, what they're saying is they're going to return all growth materials as support as much as possible so that new heroes can grow. So my question for this one, if they're going to return all the materials that we needed to, to level up Zeon, how what is the exact number is it going to be different from every player who who leveled up zeon or is it a blanket return regardless of what level your zeon is especially for some zeon which is already a plus five fate core um that's really different so again you have to clear this up on in terms of return all growth processes and materials so what will we what will this be based on okay Hit and dodge uh, displayed in hero stats. So we, while improving the display of the hero stats on the man hero management screen. So basically what they're saying is the hero and dodge stat is unnecessary. So hit and evasion are stats that cannot be increased through the hero goat system and equipment. And the default value is set to zero. It was judged that the need for display was low. Their answer. Next is going to be change of exclusive weapon. Also, your comment when you log into the all exclusive weapons are changed to the state in which they are not equipped. It will be unequipped. Growth and growth goods and materials consumed for the exclusive weapon will be turned through a refund without any additional manipulation, and all the growth values will be initialized and stored in a bag. Okay, so my question for this one: if they're going to they're going to return growth materials. Um, will it include this for us summoning that that specific uh, what they call this that specific weapon? Because some 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 players actually, including me, have um, tri actually I only tried one exclusive weapon for for Sabrina. Uh, I got that. And uh, will they be returning Zest? Hopefully so. Uh, because if the exclusive weapon is not, it's not going to be a integral part of the character, then hopefully they could do that. Existing equipment. So existing equipment will just be disassembled. Okay. And will be given back as materials for crafting new. This is just it. It's plain, it's plain and simple. Refund of Garden Stone consume. Refund of Garden Stone change consume. Basically, when we change the Garden Stone, we consume this. So the question again for this one, the refund is, is it going to be one blanket refund or do they have 
the exact data how much you really consume so that's the question that's that's my question here so based on experience is going to be a blanket refund no matter how many you spend okay closing comments once again i'd like to thank all our users making big updates is a big change due to game live services so for a long time we decided to proceed with a big update for improvement and prepared it um that's it so based on the two updates that i've seen update one update two um it's really gonna be a big change um a big change in terms of your lineup a big change because we're going to have a lot of work when the update drops because we're gonna have to change the equipment upgrade the equipment craft equipment you know a lot of things will happen and a lot of things will be have to done and once the dust settles who will be number one in pvp again so this is really a reset um i'm not sure how this will impact the current top players in pvp i assume they will still be the top but generally they'll there will be winners and losers in this update i'm sure so i hope that the winners outweigh the losers <laughs> because again if most of the community are losers in this update oh my god um this will really be a big problem so that's it Th those are my thoughts for this update this is actually a make or break update for them um either the players will love this this way or they will hate it this way there's not really going to be a middle ground for this one because again this is a these are drastic changes that that will be improved will, will no, not improve will be implemented as soon as possible taking away what is what has been you know has been has been okay for the community now changing it to a question mark Will it be good? Will it be bad? Will it be accepted? Will it be not, not accepted? So time will tell. So again, my answer to this is going to be, I'm going to be waiting for the update. I'm going to try to do everything from scratch and also give my feedback on how this impacts my team, my account, and also the other things about Exos Heroes. Okay, guys. So thank you very much. I know this is a long um review and video for the director's note but thank you for keeping me company and for those who haven't subscribed please consider subscribing this helps my channel a lot and also don't forget to click that bell icon and put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out here